Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. I'm jumping back into things here. Let's bring this up a little bit. Looks like we have a decent hand. Sure do. I like this. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. We'll see what happens here. Mm, waiting on underscore QQ underscore. Hmm, okay. So getting some mana wrap going on black. Well, let's run out uh, Benevolent, see if it survives a turn here. See what we're up against. Prophetic Prism. And they put down another land for some more ramp coming up. Same thing, right? Oh, but for red, okay. So a little Rakados going on. All right, well, let's start dropping creatures out and start getting the race going here. Oh, there we go. Ping in there for one with Bodyguard. Let's see if we can uh, figure out what we're up against. Oh man, they're playing some rainbow over here. Blue? Uh oh. I don't like that. Proliferate, draw a card, so they're just going to keep pumping these guys back up so they don't have to sacrifice them. That's interesting, because when they don't have any counters, you have to sacrifice it. So as long as they proliferate, they'll add a counter, bring it back up. Looks like they're holding up the red. So we'll see what happens with that here. Drop down our Blossoming Sands. We have two journeys. I feel like they're a little bit dead right now at this point. I'm not sure what we're up against. Haven't seen a creature yet or anything. But they're letting us attack in here, so... Looks like we're racing some kind of combo. What are they going to do? Alright, another one. It's interesting. Mm, going red, going black. Four mana. Drop a creature. I'd love to journey it. Three damage to any target proliferate. Oof. Fudge. Well, we'll sack him. We'll uh, protect our lord. Say red. read the wrong thing to do. All right, they're just going to proliferate again. Draw themselves a card. Cool. I like it. It's interesting. I feel like you're playing with fire a little bit, but uh, looks like they got enough proliferate in there to keep it going. It's interesting for sure. All right, give me another Lord. Well, that's not exactly what I want to see. Swing in for six here. All right, well, 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 we'll just winding way, fill our hand up. Well, Benevolence, not a bad drop, so I think we'll play that out now. Oops, cancel. There we go. Get a few more uh, things of protection. We got the vines, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Able to probably hold on to our Lord one more turn. I don't know if they have any removal in black, but uh, I guess we'll try to see here. <clears throat> here comes the red. 
at the beginning of your opinion, sacrifice it, put a negative one, negative one on target creature. Oof, interesting. Alright, and they're gonna go for my lord. So I'm assuming they have a way to untap this. We'll let this first one resolve. Afraid again. Oh, we got a commercial. I know, I just looked at this YouTube video. It didn't have any commercials on it. Oh, man. Oh, well. Okay, looks like it's just going to go to us. Oh, and they gave this another counter. Oh, so now it's a zero. I get it. I get it, guys. That is very interesting. Um, well... Put this guy out. Give a little extra defense. And we'll attempt to just Vines of Asswood here and win. Artless music is so good. You forget you're actually working. Start now and find the perfect song. And we got it. Alright, game two. Ah, so what do we need here? I guess natural state would be reasonable. Improve our student writing to be more clear, hmm. concise, and powerful. I don't even have to say anything. It just like calls me out. Like, listen, there's a way better way to write this. Grammarly. Hustle's blessing actually looks reasonable too. Because uh, protection from artifacts or the color of your choice. So if they drop that serrated arrow, we can give her protection from artifacts again. Journeys look bad. And I guess we'll pull out one winding way because now we're getting filled up with uh, a few other spells. We'll try to just go creature dent dense as much as possible and keep swinging in for the win. Finally get to try out Apostle's Blessing here. This actually might come in useful if we draw into it. Yeah, let's try that. So, cool little proliferate deck. <clears throat> and this isn't a keepable hand. Fortunately, we're going to have to send it back. This is much more reasonable. We'll keep it. I think we'll go ahead and ditch one of the force. Say done. We got a couple turns before they really get set up here, so. Alright, we got a sidewinder. Not exactly useful right now. Drop our benevolent first. Might actually have been better to drop the sidewinder, but both are going to be swinging in for one damage for a second still. Yeah, it's actually much wiser to drop the Sidewinder first, so... My bad. Looks like they're running the same game as last time. But, we can take them off the Prophetic Prism, which we're gonna do. Because they need that to proliferate. So let's drop another one of the Sidewinders. Swing in for one. And let's uh, get rid of this. Maybe keep him away for one more turn. Maybe there's better targets for that, but it seems reasonable to take them off blue since that is a card draw outlet for them and a proliferate outlet. So now we may have uh, made them a little bit stuck here. 
which looks like we did, so plan worked out reasonably. And we've got a bodyguard replenish if we need to. One more land would be nice. Or another vines. I'll take a vines or the apostle. Alright, let's see this thing. Okay. And they got their blue source. It looks like they're playing a pretty big spell here. Alright, just go to my face. Okay. Sure, go to my face. They replenish their hickory woodlets. And it looks like they're just gonna pass to me. Oh, excellent, okay. That's going down. That's going in. Looks this, like this game should be a decent wrap here. Maybe I don't, I don't wanna speak too soon, but we've got a very good board with plenty of protection. While well, opponent is choosing targets as part of a casting spell, they control or activate will choose at least. Oh, okay. So just a little bit of a defense buff here. And it's a flag bear, so we can't target it. We have to target it. Sacrifice the creature. Okay, sure. We'll just get rid of one of these. I want to keep my board up here. We got flanking, so if they do choose to block, we will kill their honor guard. They are in a position to block, that's for sure. That's flanking, buddy. And we win the match. They don't want to see it anymore. Oh, they left quick. They a little bit salty. <laughs> Alright, we win the match against the Proliferate deck. Still a pretty cool deck. I want to see what other tricks they have up their sleeve. I'll look up the deck list after uh, I finish recording this. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. We got some Brawlhalla coming up. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. That's been a lot of fun to put up on the channel. And uh, Wednesday we got more Slivers. The rest of the week we'll have another Slivers too. But stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in the next video.